Let me with a hangover. Okay, okay, we're back. Ooh, water treatment crate. Yo, I hate that we're doing this intro at nighttime, but uh, we'll just do it later. Oh, crate gets unlocked, I'm pretty sure. No way brush is shooting. <clears throat> That's not freaking good, dude. That's literally not good at all, dude. Ooh, I should probably go for that saw. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna see what's, look, what's cooking over here, bro. What's cooking, good looking. Ew. KD? What the? He's got KD. Now, this is a torch. Oh, my God, I can make a torch. Let's go. Okay guys, uh, I couldn't do my intro because it was night time, but I'll do my intro now, because I got loot. Um, <laughs> we are playing McLovin' Caleb's community server, the solo only one. And yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but uh, we got loot now, so I guess we're on here. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, I don't really like modded servers, this is my first time ever playing a community server. And it's my first time playing Rust in like a week and a half. So, uh, we're just gonna see, see how it goes, bro. My fault for the little burp. So far, you know, it's looking pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining. My hands are freezing. Shine and bling bling. to be honest i'm not really trying to like die to this guy 
Because he's just sitting in here? Oh, he's right there. No, bro. A fucking course, bro. A fucking course, bro. Of course I get fucking ratted. That always happens to me, bro. That always happens to me. It always happens to me, bro. I think he's just somewhere over here, but I don't think it fucking matters, bro. My bag is on time, man. Oh, four seconds. Uh, we might be able to and after that, I would go back to water treatment with my Hazzy AK. And sadly, nobody was there. But I would roam around, seeing a kid camp in the base, killed him, grabbed the horse and the loot that he had on him, then went to go run stone quarry with the one diesel I had found, built my base. Then I would see Bradley being took, so I decided to go, but by the time I got there, it was nothing but naked. Then I roamed around with my horse, and heard some shots by a base. And sadly, I guess I forgot to record it, probably due to me being angry. I would go depot this Tommy, and on my way, I killed a pig, shot AK, and so I guess it brings some door campers to my 2 by one which ended up getting deeped. He was sitting there, I had one door, he killed me, and it was over. But I did have my Tommy and some pistol bullets stashed inside of a stash, so I went to Bandit with all I could to make some pistol bullets. Sadly, I forgot to learn pistol bullets and bought a lot of grenades, so I didn't even get pistol bullets, I had nades. And I will go back to my base to try to gain it back. I was asking too many questions. So how much? I think it's 300 to upgrade a wall, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I didn't learn pistol bullet. Well, we're gonna have to just freaking upgrade the wall. Hope, Hopefully that kills him, bro, because we did not learn pistol bullet and I used all my scrap. <laughs> please, let me see TC. Please, please. GG. I mean, he cleared GC. Nothing I could do. And looking back, I should have stuck the grenade through the door and then opened the door. But, of course, that's in hindsight. Like I said, I hadn't played Rust in a week and a half. So, of course, my IQ is going to be a little lower when I start. You know, picks up the more you play. But I got on my grind from some scrap because I still have a Tommy. Just needed to make a pistol bullet. And then I'll have a gun to try to snowball once again. Oh, baby. He locked it, man. Oh, he left me across the bell. Oh. Well, locked my TC, man. Just take all of our loot? Yeah. Might as well, bro. And as I can tell by what I had in my box still, I did fight a couple people, got a couple weird loot attachments. I had around probably 700 scrap in my TC and a lot of stone, wood, metal. Just from randomly killing people. And I sadly missed all that. But I lost all of it anyway. So it doesn't even matter. But I see the airdrop coming down. Right next to the guy who raided me base. As you look to the right. Y'all will see that multi-TC base. That was the guy who deep me. So I decided to go to the airdrop. To see what I could get. If I die here, it is gonna look sad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>
Uh, how much time we got? Seven minutes. That's enough time. I don't know, I don't know if that's enough time to go buy a buy a diving kit though. But to be honest, it's a one person. We can fucking blow it up. I ain't gonna. And even though I never came and got these stashes ever again, so RIP to the C4 and the M9, I went to oil, but sadly, it was already took, so I decided to take my talents to cargo, where I thought I got free, but I was literally mistaken. Mid, 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 mid. Two freaking gates and walls, bro. I'll take that 4 and 3 though, for sure. Damn. And after recycling all my comps, I would go to outposts, kill and respawn, then grab the chainsaw I had to farm some wood to yeah, make I'm my new it. base. This rock right here. There's a little bit of bitches around us, but hopefully we can either boom them or they're not too much of a problem, you know. And if you're asking for the bases on, don't ask me. I freestyle all of my bases. You could go ahead and watch the video, I guess, and try to build it yourself if you like it that much. But all my bases I ever build are freestyle. I never once look up YouTube videos for my bases. Number one is I don't want somebody to see a YouTube base, recognize it, and know how to rate it. Number two, I don't want people to see a YouTube base and be like, no, I don't want to rate it, you know? Even though I don't get rated anyway, so it really doesn't even matter. I build whatever. No matter what I build, people are going to offline it. They're going to rate it if they want to, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how expensive, how cheap, so I build whatever. And after going on a farm run, farming some stoned up, fully upgrade my base, added metal doors, so I wouldn't get roam raided by some randoms. I seen an airdrop coming down, so I went to go inspect it.
Those guys just be flying, bro. Hey Siri, start a 15 minute timer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we are not. Oh yeah, yo. Let go, bro, let go. And I'm still not really sure on if the timers were different on this, but I set a 15 minute timer right when they got called. And Cray had left four minutes before my timer went off. So my guess is that the timers were a little bit less on this server. I still wasn't 100% sure. I'll see later on if I actually seen in the video or not. So I was a little bit late and I tried to catch them leaving. And sadly, he was able to get away due to him being in the rib compared to me being in a small boat. Then, I decided to put boxes down, get furnaces started, when I heard some L9 shots go off not too far from my base. What is that? I'm trying to get heli? I think he is. Oh my god, his base is in a lot of half walls. Oh my god, I could just jump to his roof actually. Do you have M2 on his back? Horsey, you're not that you're not athletic, Horsey. No fucking way, bro. No way. Oh my god, bro. That's fucking sad. That is so sad, bro. So fucking sad. So fucking sad, bro. That was so sad. I don't know why I didn't build the floor in the first place. I went to go get the freaking, what's it called, bro? I went to go get the horse when I could just built right there, bro. I didn't even think. I wasn't thinking, bro. I thought because of the roof it was gonna let me build there.
I ain't gonna lie, but that snap was crazy. I snapped on the first guy, bro. Holy. Holy, I snapped on him. Holy, holy, holy. I like 50% care about if they know where I live. But at the same time, I don't care. Oh, well, apparently he knows already, so it doesn't even matter if I care. And after that, I may have did some menacing things, chopping all of this guy's bags. <laughs> oh my god, he just shitted on me. Holy, that dude just pooped on me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Craig, he did do me dirty. Damn. I didn't feel too good. No fucking way, bro. No fucking way, that fucking pussy just got it, bro. Why is he not shooting at the other guy? Why is he not shooting at the other guy, bro? I don't think- I, I think I get that before he gets there, though. He lives over here. I don't know. He has to go uphill too. Oh, I gotta keep my weapon on me. But I gotta keep protection on me. A bit and after getting that loot home, I headed to cargo where I got it basically free until someone pulled up. Just you? Oh my fucking god, someone swam up. Freaking talking to these freaking dudes is from someone, someone swam with the freaking cargo, dude. I'm gonna go loot the crates, I ain't gonna lie. I don't want him to go down there and loot the crates. He's pretty scared to loot him because he could just kill me. I'm gonna go to the back like he's doing now that I freaking come loot these crates. That would be bay angle on. Oh my god. Loaded crate. That was a loaded crate though, I ain't gonna lie. That crate was kinda fantastical. Oh, fuck, jump, 
bomb with a paint. Paint the put a paint bomb and paint the put a bomb, you know. These doors are very good though. We need these doors, bro. Ah oh, hell no. In the base? His name is Large Rig, he's been right next to oil, bro. <laughs> I wanted his horse, that's the reason I came and killed him. Holy. Well, guess we'll make a little base real quick. And so I headed home, grabbed all my loot, had my rear pretty full with some loot, and headed back home. And the following things y'all are going to see are completely not scripted, okay? These next few clips are going to really look like it's scripted, and I promise to God I never faked out one of my videos, never scripted none. This is just a very, very crazy mishap, okay? So enjoy. I'm going to get that 11 times? Oh, fuck no. Oh my god, oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just come, bro. I literally just came, I literally just came, I literally just came, bro. All over my freaking pants, bro. Bro, I can't carry all this freaking goop, bruh. Gotta make freaking doors. I don't even care about his gun, bruh. Oh! I forgot, bruh. I forgot this freaking Instacraft bullcrap. I just wasted like 4,000 metal, bruh. I forgot about that, bruh. Happening. What is happening? What is happening? What am I playing? This got this is scripted, bro. Scripted content, guys. Sorry for the scripted content, guys. Literally scripted. Where the hell did he get all this wood from? Ready to get door camp for the rest of our eternity, bro? Or just get raided? We might just get raided, but I believe it might just fit skills against a solo. Freaking this weirdo. What is he doing, bro? He, well, I think he was camping the river the whole time. What is this guy doing?
I don't know. That's kind of weird. The fact that this guy's sitting on top of my base and that guy's there, like, and they just weren't fighting. I think I'm gonna get my freaking rib, bro. That was pretty weird. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't know. I can't, I can't say nothing because I didn't see them together or nothing. <laughs> Let me freaking high call this freaking base, bro. And after that, I just used all the metal I got and farmed a little bit of stone to completely build my base to a good spot. So I knew if even if I was to get raided online or offline, it would be pretty defendable and pretty strong. Yes, sir. We got a turret. Hey Siri, about a 15 minute timer. You know, that shit doesn't even matter because fucking, it's not even 15 minutes on oil, but. Okay, we're definitely depoting. <laughs> Okay, I was worried I shot my thing out anyway, so he deserved it.
Did he drop stuff? I think he might have dropped loot. She got a custom. Oh, he got, yeah, four. He got custom in this whole kit. I guess from the crate. He just didn't want to put it on. Baby girl out, bro. Now, baby girl, I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm sorry for this all times. I know I'm selfish, but behind y'all, stay on my grind. Ooh. Pretty good, pretty good. And after getting home with that, I made as much garage doors as possible. Moved some of my loot into my little bunker. And if you don't know, it's not really a bunker, but the way my base is built, this was the most expensive place to get in my base was this little 2 by one right here. Due to the fact that it's inside the rock on one side, the roof was honeycombed, and both sides were double honeycombed. So, it's not my core, which most people would rate to, and this takes the same amount of loot, same amount of garage doors as it is to my core. So, I put some loot in here just in case one gets raided and the other one don't. But after getting that down and all the garage doors possible, I headed off to the end of my day one. And I know, I know, I'm gonna just be honest, alright? I've been busy. I've been working. If y'all don't know, I have a job now again. You know, back then I had a job. I stopped for like a month or two months. That's why I've been posting so much. But now I have another job again. So I don't really play Rust that much. I When I do, I play around one or two days. And if the server gets boring, I'm not going to play because I'm not going to have time to run around and look for people or, you know what I'm saying, wait for people to do oil or do it myself and nobody go. So I ended up getting off the server for a little while and my base basically almost fully decayed. But I decided I wanted to make this into a video. So I was like, okay, let me get back on. Let me start grinding. I see both oils were took. So I was like, okay, people are doing stuff. So let me build my base back up again. And I'm not gonna bore y'all or waste y'all's time. I decided to go to oil, call in both of my airdrops. When I got them, I seen cargo coming out. I ended up getting it completely free, which had me kind of down, kind of sad, kind of wanting to get off because I wanted to fight. But when I was about to get off, I seen large order we getting called. So, you know, we had to go. After that, crafted all my boom that I had and went to go raid the guy who deep me at the very beginning of the video. Don't 
think we have enough for this. Five hundred. All right, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make the more explode. Get the respawn in the street. Actually, should we wait for five hundred? Cause that's not an. Oh, uh, with the HEs, I think C4. Nah, that's not even enough for just C4. Forget C4. So. One is on the roof. Someone is on the roof. Has it? Three guy win. And as I needed 200 more HP to get to that metal wall, I seen that heli was out. Launched to take it, but I couldn't make it to a tower, so I had to take it out of PUBG. Uh, rocks are very wrong. Like no uh, try from a PUBG? I could try, bro. Fuck, like I'm just gonna die. We have kind of cover from the top, though. Something I'm making this other side launch. I can't see two feet in front of me, so. You can't see not a damn thing. Who you know taking a headache from a PUBG, though? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Who you know do that? No one. No one's doing that, bro. No one's doing it like me. Okay, so...
Stop. Snaps are getting all that little home on this server. The charcoal smelted way slower than the sulfur does. So I had to get furnaces going to get more charcoal so I can do one more raid before I got off. I was planning on raiding my neighbor, the one that was roof camping me. Five. So I got those started and I logged off and waited for them to craft. And when I got back on, you will see what happened. And yeah, I was full raided, they ended up sealing the base, and yes, it said I died to suicide, but we all know I didn't die to suicide. <laughs> and as you could tell, I looked at the servers list, and as y'all could tell, there was really nobody on. I think it was around 5am at this time. The server was already dying, I ain't gonna lie, it was probably like 20, 30 pop in during the day, out of 60, so I mean that's kinda good, but not really, for a whole 3.5k map. But yeah, anyway. I would get raided and I seen there was one guy on specifically that decided to stay on and I had killed him before but I didn't clip it. I had killed him before, got a few kids from him but it was nothing I really thought crazy about. But I guess he was very sad about it and as you can tell one player left in the server and I knew it was him. I knew where he lived so I would still give him a visit. And just by my luck he started taking heli as soon as I got to his base. So, you know, we had to kill him. You don't roof that fast. That fast he got on roof. That's crazy. And if you're wondering what these guns and the stashes are, I didn't clip it, but I ended up fighting this guy and a lot more people at dome. I missed a lot of clips. Like I said, I had not played Rust in a while, so I was kind of missing a few clips, but it's nothing crazy. It was just me camping top of dome, killing them over and over. So I grabbed my kit. And I went back. Two seconds. And the weirdo he is decided to spawn on my base thinking I guess he, he was going to get the loot. I already had despawned it, threw it in the middle of nowhere, and I went back to go frag him. <laughs> that right there is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, make sure I hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.